Hi, this is Elise. Welcome to my channel. If you like this content and these videos, please hit the subscribe and like button below and you'll receive many more. So thank you for being here today. Today I would like to talk about energy and how we sense it in our body and how we feel it. And from my perspective, we really have to know what our felt senses feel like in order to actually interpret our energy accurately. And then we have to understand how we can get in tune with our own energy system. And years and years ago, when I had, was suffering from severe chronic pain, it was really bad. I would end up on the couch, walk like a comma, you know, like a lot of people do. And I channeled in all this work and I started seeing all these systems and all these things. So I started practicing it with myself and other people and all my pain went away. And I had it for years. I was diagnosed, I had to have, supposed to have back surgery. I decided not to, I'm not gonna go into the whole story. But this work that I worked with myself with and other people, it just relieved everything. But what I learned through the process is, is that, number one, you have to know where your felt senses are. So you have to know where fear goes in your body, when you're mad or pissed off, when you're happy, when you're excited. I think happy is a bit challenging sometimes to feel. You probably can feel it in your heart maybe. But when you're excited, like where that goes in your body. So I know when I'm really mad, like my right sacrum goes, it starts talking to me. I'm like, wow, I'm really mad. What's that about? So I have to actually drop in and tune in because I may not be feeling mad or pissed off. So I have to drop in and go, oh, where am I feeling mad about? And so then I drop in, I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm really mad. So then I kind of feel into that, right? And then I work through that and I have this whole system that I teach people how to work through all of that. So again, the felt senses. So we have to know where they go in the body. It's gonna be different for everyone. So where does, when you're mad go, or pissed off, if I can say that online, um, where does excitement go, right? Where does love go? When you feel like just this overwhelming love for something like a, a child or your animals or whatever that is for you. Like I teach people a love symbol. So what's your love symbol? Mine for a long time were dogs. Like I would go, okay, and then I would be out walking and all these dogs would come into my awareness. They're still dogs. I have several different love symbols now, but that's what I'm getting at is if you can choose a love symbol, then you know where that goes. Maybe it's a place, maybe it's a mountain, you know, maybe it's the beach, but whatever that, whatever that, that feeling is for you for that, because then you know when you're, when you're coming up upon something that you need to make a decision upon, if you have that kind of feeling for it, that's the direction you want to go. Not what your brain's telling you, but the other direction, like what's your heart telling you? Because we've got this heart brain coherence that these star beings that I channel, they're really talking about the heart co coherence on the planet in connection with the planet herself, not just us, but with the planet herself. So the natural world's really coming on board for my perception as well. So getting back to these felt senses. So it's, it's important to know for some people, they're going to feel like, you know, when they don't, when something feels like contracted and not good to them, it's going to go to their solar plexus. For some people, it's going to go to their third eye. For some people, it's going to go to their foot. It's different for everybody or their knees. It's really going to be different, but those are going to be really important to know. I was working with a client once and I won't go into a lot of details, but she was having a challenging time feeling what her feelings were, but she's highly intuitive, highly psychic. And then one day it was like, I feel like excited. I have this like, you know, this like sexual energy. And I was like, oh my God, that's what you want. That's the creative energy, right? And that is coming down now. And we're being asked to ground that into the earth and through us because that's what's really coming on board for so many people that are waking up on the planet. So that's what I'm getting at. If you can start feeling that. So I know when I'm really excited about something, I get a feeling in my lower abdomen by my private, you know, your, your um, reproductive organs, your private organs. So that's actually a really good sign, a really, really, really good sign. So that's number one. And then I have this whole system where I see these like double toruses in the body that goes through our higher line. So we've got this line, this, you can see it's like a tube, right? It goes through the center of our body. It's not really part of our energy system, but it's grounded into the earth and the cosmos. And it's where energy comes in. And then everything kind of expands out of that for my perception. But what I do for people is I put these plates, or you can call them what I see, 
at the energetic center so people have an easier time connecting to them. And what I have found is, is that when people actually work with this and they do it on a regular basis, it can move energy really, really fast. It, you turn into your own energy system on your own. You don't need my help anymore or anybody's help for that matter. And then you can just start working with your own energy. And then you understand how energy works and what's coming at you and where you feel it in your body and how you want to express that. So it's really, from my perspective, pretty profound work. And it's really simple. It takes like, once you learn the work, it takes like three minutes and 33 seconds. <laughs> it's really short. And then on top of that is toning. So when we use our own resonance, our own voice, our own vibration, because every time we talk, we are emitting a vibration and we're putting that out into the world. That's why words are so, 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 so powerful. Thoughts create form, words can create action from my perception. So words are really powerful and so are thoughts. So emitting sound through our voice box and our own resonance moves our own energy in our energy system really fast and it's really powerful. But again, it's like anything else. It has to, it takes practice and we have to practice, 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 practice. And you know, when I feel like I'm kind of stuck or anything like that, I just sit up in bed or on a chair and I start doing the work. And it's, you know, it's a counterclockwise and then a clockwise direction and then, and then it switches. It's connected to the right and left hemispheres of the brain because, you know, that's, that's how our right brain is our intuitive side, our left side is our logical side. And then it's connected to the opposite sides of the body, our receiving side, our power side, all those kinds of things. So there's details there to be had. But again, feeling those felt senses is really important. So again, do you know where, when you're angry, where that goes in your body? Do you know where you are excited? Where does that go in your body? Again, where does it feel when you like really love something and you're really happy, excited, that kind of feeling as well. So those are really important tools to have to move forward and to authentically, authentically start to take stuff in that's actually in your best interest and actually what intuitively is going to come to you versus using the mind and being, you know, like trying to like power through it because intuition doesn't like that. It's really, 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 really subtle and quiet. It doesn't come and scream at you and yell at you. Okay. That's it for today. See you next time. Bye.